Welcome back to the show, everybody. We have a great one for you this morning. XRP has been on fire all night long. Let's just go ahead and roll this beautiful intro and get into this. We got a lot to go over. Here we go. This is Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Subscribe for new content notifications. Now, here's Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to the show. You can follow me on Twitter at BackupBradley above at the top of the screen and everything that we're talking about here today. Really quick, I just have to give a big shout out. Thank you to my family, to my friends. I got surprised yesterday with a surprise birthday party early before my birthday. I'll be 50 this week on the 13th. And I just have to say, you know, my heart is filled with really love and gratitude I never even knew anything was going. Mrs. Backup pulled a fast one, and I tell you, it, you know, it was just amazing. It's still surreal to me. So I have to give a shout out to all of them, sending love to everybody who was able to come. And you know, I'm obviously a musician in in my uh, previous career, and I had a lot of musician friends over yesterday, and it was just a really a great time, just hanging out, catching up with everybody. Most of which I haven't seen for more than a year because of the pandemic, and. Uh, it was just, it was a powerful day. So I have to give a shout out to them and send love to everybody who, who came out. And let's go ahead and get into this thing really quickly here. So $2 trillion market cap, $2 trillion, $50 billion market cap for cryptocurrency collectively this morning. Bitcoin was over $60,000 yesterday. It's now sitting back just slightly under at $59,761.07, 2.5% on the uh, seven day. And we're looking at Ethereum, which is really sitting above 2000 now $2,148.05 and it's up 3.48 on the seven day coming down to the number four spot now courtesy of the dereliction of duty by the uh, SEC XRP is sitting at 139 we'll look at the range in a second but check this out we're 18.35 percent on a 24 hour and we're 129.88 percent on the seven day that's a pretty powerful powerful number right there so so let's keep an eye on it. And by the way, we're also closing in on that market cap to being back at that number three spot with a SEC lawsuit over top of our heads. That's pretty impressive. Let's take a look at the range now. <clears throat> and we range from $1.48 to $1.14. You know, this is something interesting when the price goes green like this. I know a lot of us, you know, have spouses or significant others that are not into crypto, but we're into crypto. And then you have that constant battle I know one of the many questions and comments that I get from Mrs. Backup over the years of being in crypto now, four, four plus years, is uh, can we stop buying crypto now, please? <laughs> Well, I can tell you when the price action started jumping off yesterday, I'm in my office, Mrs. Backup walks in and goes, you know, if we stay above a dollar, we could be going to a new all-time high soon. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we've got support at the dollar mark and we're going to be upwards from here. And I'm thinking, who are you? You know, <laughs> all of a sudden, you know, you start seeing some real price action and the naysayers in your life just turn around and start going, hey, you know, I'm like a charts person now. So it's pretty funny. It was very cute. So uh, with that being said, you know, a lot of people are reaching out now and asking questions. A lot of family, friend members, you know, they're like, hey, you know, how's your coin doing? It's like they know how it's doing because they've been watching it because they've been thinking you've been failing. But I think they're starting to learn that everything is now moving on target the way it needs to. And the other thing that's interesting about this is that, you know, while this is happening, I want to remind everyone, while the price is going up, U.S. retail investors are restricted and handicapped like they never have been ever, ever, ever before. So I do believe we'll see a relisting of XRP at some point soon. I do believe we're going to see possible settlement or dismissal of the SEC case soon. Remember, tomorrow we're supposed to have Gary Gensler confirm, possibly. We'll have to keep an eye on that to see if that happens and if, in fact, that does. I happen to ask a question that because Gary Gensler worked at MIT, Ripple donated millions of dollars to MIT and blockchain there. Um, I have to wonder if Gary Gensler being confirmed could be a conflict of interest in some way. I don't know the answer, but I do like to ask the question. And, and if not... 
then I just hope that Gary Gensler gets confirmed and we can hope to see some new leadership take the wheel and really get this thing resolved and out of the way here so we can all get back to work. So that's the first thing on that. So we're going to get more into that whole naysayer bit in just a second here. But I do want to touch base and shout out to Dark Defender, Crypto Bull 2020, Crypto Wizard, Crypto Toes, and so many others, if I forgot you, that do technical analysis. These technical analysts are really good at what they do. And of late, they have been spot on with what they're doing with their calls. And they've been making the calls well in advance. We've been covering them since February, March, that time frame. And now we are at that moment where what they have said is going to happen has actually happened. And this is evidence of it here. The 133 spot, spot on confirmed. And he has also told us to watch out for a $2.72 mark. And I believe from there, potentially a $20 XRP, possibly 25 and then upwards and upwards and upwards from there. And even going as far to say that by Q3 of this year, we could see a $100 XRP if things continue to move as they are. That would be remarkable. Now, this is pretty interesting. And I had to share this right here because this is re retweeted by XRP Attorney Seal. Shout out to you, my friend. Just imagine if XRP was relisted on all exchanges again. And that is something you have to take into account. I firmly believe if we see... Uh, XRP relisted after an IPO from Coinbase on April 14th. What do you think that's going to do? Just that alone, let alone the rest of the exchanges in the world going full back on and relisting XRP in that manner. Now, that to me uh, would be incredible. Leonidas here on the original tweet said the last time XRP hit $1.40, it reached its all time high a few days later hashtag just saying yeah shout out to you leonidas that's a great point to make we could see a lot more upwards action in the next coming days you know if i do remember correctly back in 2017 2018 it was about 24 26 days or so where we went from you know the 20 cent range up to the 384 mark as he talked about so we're going to keep an eye on that this is interesting right here uh i am in algorand and i tell people you know what we're in but algorand is something that has piqued my interest and in. i have taken a position in that and none of this is financial advice but i do like to share with the audience what tokens i do hold just not how much and i advise you to never tell anybody how much you hold of anything so vesta equity and algorand collaborate to bring in a tokenized res residential home equity peer-to-peer -peer marketplace vesta equity aims to build an inclusive and dynamic model for the multi-trillion dollar global home equity market everything will be tokenized say it with me it really will now this gets interesting we're getting ready to tell a story here so uh the ec an ecb which is a european central bank if you're not aware board member attacks bitcoin says it does not fulfill the basic properties of money and <laughs> i agree with her it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't mean that i'm against it in fact I hold some. Mrs. Backup and I have it in our portfolio. And I do have reservations for this particular asset on how it could be affected by regulation going forward because it is proof of work, right? And it did not successfully um, achieve the payments uh, aspect of the token as it originally set out to do. Now, I, I like it if people want to turn it into a product that you can invest in and get your money out of cash and put it in another asset, like a store of value. But I do believe we're going to need to see further regulation on proof of work, and I think we will. And I think some of that regulation may come in the form of taxation, and it may be a proof of work or carbon footprint tax. And I'd be, I'd be really looking out for that. And I'm trying to figure out for myself and for us, you know, what is the best thing to do? Is it to keep my position in Bitcoin or I, do I move out of that and kind of let whatever's going to happen happen and then get back in and then ride out for a long-term ride? I don't know yet, but I am watching this very closely. However, let's take a look at this because like I said, you know, Bitcoin did come out and show the world what is possible. Bitcoin did come out and fail as a payments network at this point, at this point. And I do believe that at some point, maybe we see all Bitcoin pre-mined and put on the XRP ledger. And then it has three seconds 
back at settlement time, just like XRP does, and it could settle for a fraction of a penny at that point. And to me, that would be the best thing to see because as markets mature, you usually see technologies and companies merge together where applicable to make the entire industry industry stronger. And I think that could be certainly a moment that's pursued. And if it is, I think you could see a real, real strong push for Bitcoin price and adoption and, and, a, and a position taking by a lot of people and companies because I think they would feel much better if it was on something like the XRP ledger or some other ledger where it could be monitored, tracked, and all these things. And like I said, if it's pre-mined and placed on the ledger, then you're talking about really having the same settlement time as XRP that would bring a consistency to the market, and you wouldn't have these uh, high fees, I don't believe, anymore either. So something to think about. But until then, let's talk about it like this. Bitcoin is now worth more than four of the largest banks in the United States combined well, let me tell you this little story really quickly. And this is a little story about BS, bull hockey, right? Because there was a, a pheasant that always, flew, you know, walked and flew around a little bit in the bull pasture. And one day he tells the bull, he talks to the bull and he says, you know, I've been trying to fly to the top of that tree, but I can't get there. And the bull says, well, you might think this is funny, but you should try eating some of my dung. Because if you do, the nutrients that are in it from the grasses that I eat will give you the strength to get to the top of that tree. Well, he did that for about a week and he ate the stuff and he ate the stuff and he finally got feeling better and he ate, actually flew to the top of that tree. Later that day, the farmer come out and saw this big fat pheasant in the tree and shot him. <laughs> Moral of the story is bullshit might get you to the top, but it won't keep you there. And that's where that is. Next piece of news. Well, this here is not BS. This is XRP token. We'll soon be able to engage DeFi applications to cross-chain integration bridges for XRP. We'll make it possible for XRP holders to engage with different applications on OneChain and Ethereum. Uh-oh. I'm hearing the kind of talk that I just told you about Bitcoin having a successful path where it could be even bigger than it already is by having a convergence or a, a merging together with something like the XRP ledger with pre-mined Bitcoin. Here we're seeing interoperability and that's what I'm talking about. And that's what we're talking about here. And what I see is, look, I've said this many, many times, DeFi is going to be bigger than crypto itself. Don't believe it. It's still true. And when you see the interoperability between OneChain and Ethereum and the XRP ledger, and then DeFi being brought to the XRP ledger, I see massive utility and use case really being brought to the XRP ledger and the token itself. And this is what I want to continually see. And this is starting to change people's minds. And one more thing really quickly before we get to the naysayer part of this video, which is David Schwartz, shout out to you, says, if the price of XRP stays over one US dollar for two weeks, I will personally start advocating for a drop in the XRP ledger reserve requirements from 20 to 10, which is interesting because currently right now you need to have a wallet with 20 XRP in it to have an XRP wallet, right? And he's talking about lowering that minimum to 10 instead of 20 which I think is pretty incredible. XRP Crypto Wolf says $20 to open an XRP wallet isn't that bad when people are willing to pay hundreds for ETH gas fees, which is a great point too. Although I would say that if we're talking about banking the unbanked around the world, $20 in another country may be very, very difficult hype bar for a lot of people in those regions. So I certainly get where he's coming from, both of them. So we'll see what goes on with that. Now talk about naysayers. Look at this guy. This guy, if you're not aware, has been a huge naysayer huge naysayer for crypto at a lot of different times. This is Rand Nooner, who's now saying, having followed the SEC versus Ripple case and the judge's attitude to date, I would suggest the SEC withdraw the case and avoid the embarrassment. Oh, we found our way to the cheerleading stand, have we, Rand? <laughs> and here's another one, Mr. Bitcoin himself. 
Yeah, who's taken shots at, at XRP many times, and in fact has even gotten to the point where he's taken such heavy shots at XRP that Brad Garlinghouse has intervened and shot back across his bow. Billionaire Mike Novogratz says XRP bull run indicates that a ripple settlement could be coming soon. <laughs> I actually think he's got this one right, because I think that's right too. Just to touch on this very quickly, you know, uh, in the last hearing where we saw that the judge had uh, ordered the SEC to cough up documents on Bitcoin and Ethereum from external to internal communications, but not internal to internal communications. I believe in that in that decision right there, what we actually saw was really a death blow to the SEC because we all know dai has been showing us plenty enough videos that the evidence is on film that ethereum is absolutely an ico that never was held accountable and we know for a fact the sec can't prove otherwise so there is a problem there and we'll see how quickly that gets resolved or not or how much delaying they can do before they actually have to address that issue in court so we'll keep an eye on that as well this is a fun one here from Jay, jim hyatt shout out to you my brother jay hyatt buddy yeah he's uh tagged uh mr bxrp as well shout out to you my friend at this point the sec may want to get paid in xrp if they settle <laughs> You know, you're doing well when the price is going up and then you reach a settlement with the SEC and you're like, look, just just pay us an XRP, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, all I can say is this has been a fun ride. We're watching it. We're going to keep watching it. We're going to see what goes on here. But this has really been exciting. And I think we got a lot further to go. I just want to remind everybody it's not financial advice, but I am here for four and five digit XRP. If the central banks haven't started using it yet, then I'm not getting rid of mine. Hit the like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Make sure you share with somebody you know. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And check out all the links in the description box and the comment section. Clinton Donnelly, the crypto tax fixer. And go to CryptoTaxAudit.com cryptotaxaudit.com it is the definitive place for crypto taxes he's helped so many people save over 40 million dollars and you know what he's got so many different packages you could check out he offers a package for audit protection i think it's like 35 dollars a month and it is way less than what an audit would cost you so make sure you check that out as well as his first full service option as well i'll catch all of you on the next one